Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chase on Two Wheels here at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. And in front of us, my friends, Triumph has been so kind as to let us borrow their big old boy, their 2022 Rocket 3R Black Edition. So, I'm kind of interested to ride this because you guys, if you follow all the videos on the channel, I just got back from California a few weeks ago riding a uh, harley davidson's new sportster i'm kind of vibing on this little muscle cruiser situation because you know i'm not a typical cruiser guy but that ain't gonna stop me from enjoying the hell out of today so ladies and gentlemen drop a like on the video because you are friends with me and let's get on two wheels and see what this uh rocket's all about oh by the way no keys baby keyless have it in neutral hold the clutch Let's glove up. And if you guys are wondering, man, Chase, it looks hot out there. Why are you wearing your leather jacket and not your uh, mesh one? Well, guys, when you ride an all blacked out muscle cruiser with the biggest production engine ever made in a motorcycle, you don't simply wear a mesh jacket. You are here for the vibe. And that's why we got the black leather on. Before we get this first ride started on this Rocket 3R, I want to tell you guys about the brand new launch my ride apparel company is doing right now. These new shirts, the A-Line, which is the one I'm wearing right here, we also have a Ride to Inspire shirt. These things were available yesterday for pre-order and pre-order ends on Sunday. After that, these shirts will not be available. Also, I am super excited about these shirts because, I don't know if you guys can tell, if you guys have been fans of Ride Apparel for a while, brand new shirts they feel entirely different and they are the softest shirts i have ever worn we tried on so many different types of shirts and we landed on what i think is the best shirt we've ever put a design on so if you guys want to check out a ride apparel shirt we'll have links for them in the description down below again they're going to be available from thursday yesterday all the way to this coming sunday after that pre-orders are shut down you cannot grab them we have the A-Line, the one I'm wearing. We also have that Ride to Inspire shirt, looks like this. You guys can check them out on rideapparelco.com. Also, for one of you people that grabs one of these pre-ordered Ride Apparel shirts, we're gonna be choosing somebody to give away Rurox's new Atlas 3.0 Prime. If you guys don't know about their Atlas 3.0 Prime, they're like supporting charities and stuff like that. You can see more about it here. Since we are a positivity focused riding apparel line and they're supporting stuff, we wanna kinda team up with them and give away more stuff. So uh, we appreciate anybody that goes and supports Ride Apparel. We love you guys long time and we appreciate that you help and believe in this whole positive riding community. But anyways guys, that's enough about Ride Apparel. Go check them out at rideapparelco.com or that link down below. Let's get back to the first ride. All right guys. Since I already know you hit the like button for uh, all the beautiful camera car footage you guys are going to be seeing, let's check it out. Super low seat height. Look how bent my legs are. So guys, I'm 5'10". I got a 32-inch inseam. I got super bent legs. She is a heavy girl. Okay. A big old bike. We got mid controls here. And uh, we'll start out in rain mode. But guys, check out this dash. For one, you can adjust it. It's pretty neat. Modes, we have rain, we have road, sport, and rider. Now I've customized rider to turn traction control off. Now if you guys are really good, we'll turn, uh, we'll put the bike on rider mode. <gasps> it's that guy. 
All right, boys, we're going to start out in raid mode because we're uh, understandable human beings. We don't want to get ourselves killed out here. And uh, we'll get this thing going. While we uh, come up to the road, guys, I want to invite all of you guys to check out our Discord server. It's uh, totally free, and we're building a pretty cool community over there. Oh, shit. Go check out Discord. There's a link in the description. I got to go. Woohoo! All right, guys. 2022 Rocket 3 R Black. I got to say, guys, this black model looks so freaking good. I love it. Uh, and it's growing on me. So I told you guys, Tribe is going to let us borrow this thing for at least a month. I think we've got it for an entire month. And uh, we're going to be doing as much riding and as many videos as we can on it. We're trying to do way more videos on the test bikes that we get, uh, the loaner bikes. If you guys have been seeing, we've been putting out a lot of R7 content. That's because we got an R7 on loan. Anyway, Triumph Rocket. So guys, this is the, the largest production engine in a motorcycle that is made period 2500 cc triple right that's like 800 something cc's per cylinder like what kind of nuts is that this essentially has three 800s in it so think of an 800 cc motorcycle it's got three of them inside of it uh but guys let's do our let's do our first right let's talk about what we like and don't like about this motorcycle uh, first off, body position. Uh, I, I, I got to be honest, I wasn't super used to mid controls back in the day. But now I've gone out and I rode Harley Sports to rest. I've gotten used to mid controls and forward controls. And now I don't hate it. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I don't love it. But I will say this, it's a vibe. It's, it's a feeling. You, for whatever reason you feel cooler your legs are like parallel to the ground your arms are straight out my butt's kind of perched into the seat right here i will say i am digging the uh positioning of the foot controls um i'm probably going to compare this bike to the sportster s a lot guys and uh it is what it is that's the most recent motorcycle that's kind of close to this that i can remember or that i've ridden period so there are going to be a lot of comparisons. But yeah, I love the foot controls. I love where the brake is. I love the feelings of all my levers since we're stuck at a red light. I mean, let's look at... So we got cruise control. This is the mode button. Blinkers. Select switch. All the turn on stuff. We got a home button. So this is where we can go in and change riding modes. You guys can see I can go to rider. And I can change everything as I want. Hit home to go back. Controls wise... I, I honestly feel like Triumph has the best feeling controls. They have the most, uh, not best feeling, the most premium feeling controls on the market. Uh, I don't know what they're doing differently, but they just have a, a, another whole level. Ducati's close, but Ducati doesn't even touch Triumph's controls. They are so premium feeling. And guys, I got to be honest, for 2,500 cc's, rain mode is uh super toned down so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight to road mode because don't nobody care about this bike in rain mode all right we're in road mode now let's see if that's what i want now <laughs> so guys uh something else to note is uh this bike is shaft driven so a lot of motorcycles you guys have seen are probably going to be chain driven maybe they're belt driven this one's shaft, and uh, the only other bike that I've ever ridden that I can remember that's shaft driven was uh, my buddy's Super Tenere, old Patty Rick's uh, Super Tenere, and that was shaft driven. And when you gave it some goose, like gave it the beans, twisted that throttle hard, the whole bike would press upwards. It would kind of like bounce. So this bike kind of does that as well. Oh, can we not no foot down? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um... Once we get out of some of this traffic, I'll show you guys. Yeah, when you let off the throttle, the, the bike kind of falls down. Do you guys notice that? The bike's just raising up into the air. <laughs> and that's that shaft drivenness. It's, that's what it has to be because the Super T did the exact same thing. So guys, so far in road mode, we seem to have way more power on tap. 
Uh, speaking of power and before we go, oh my goodness gracious guy. Uh, before we get too high up in the power, uh, we do need to talk about the electronics package that this thing has on it. We've got ABS, we've got traction control, and we have the different power modes. This has got all the lean sensitive stuff as well, guys. So power package, or electronics package, uh, fully there. From what I understand, you cannot turn ABS off, which is, uh, thank God. And uh, you can turn off uh, traction control, which is pretty cool. You have to do that in the rider menu. Um, and I have the rider mode set up to not have traction control. I'm feeling pretty freaking cool, if I'm going to be honest. I, I, I'm starting to... I don't want to say it, but I must say it. I think I'm starting to like this whole power cruiser market, if I got to be honest, guys. It's, uh... I don't know. It gives me a cool feeling, and I, I'm kind of digging it. I'm falling for it, man. These freaking entry point power cruisers... Not entry point, right? They're getting me as a sport rider interested in cruisers, but... You know what? You guys have been so good. I want to put this thing... <laughs> we're going... Oh, no. Okay. We're, we'll go to sport mode now. Sport mode gets us uh, sport mapping, traction control on sport mode, and ABS in sport mode, which in sportier modes, traction control and ABS are just going to intervene the least. So we'll see if we can get the traction control light to, to flare up. If I can get the traction control light to flare up on this motorcycle, then I will put it in rider mode that I have customized. Oh, guys, check out the gas tank. You got to put the key in there or else it will free spin. It's kind of weird. You put the key in, you half turn it, and then this will actually engage. Triumph got some weird gas tanks. And uh, the first one I rode, I think, was on... Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. I rode a Triumph motorcycle, and I saw this gas tank, and I'm like, what is this? Uh, after 20 minutes, I figured out how to get into the gas. And uh, then I could finally leave the gas station. All right. A right turn on a green arrow, baby. Let's get the traction control lit up if we can. I don't know if we've got enough CCs, but let's just try. Yeah, traction control light. We found it. <laughs> Woo! Let's get behind the Tesla. That uh, Tesla should go way faster than a minivan. All right. We found the traction control light, which means I get to put it in rider mode. <laughs> All right. Traction control is off. All right, Tesla guy, I want me and you. Listen to me. Are you listening to me? Let's me and you just gun it. You'll be faster than me, and that's okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, guys, there is something about motorcycles that when you, when you get this giddy feeling while riding them, you know you're on a good bike, or at least that's how I know I'm on a good bike. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if it's a cruiser, if it's a super sport, a naked, uh, an adventure bike. All I want for motorcycles is to feel excited and like I'm having fun. And how can you not have fun when you've got 2,500 or almost 2,500 cc's underneath you? You would have to be a zombie to not have a thrill of excitement when you twist this throttle. And also, all the other modes, well, other than sport mode, all the other modes, the bike feels super tame. I don't know how you can have that many electronics to make a motorcycle feel that tamed. And also, it is getting warm right down there, which we've got all the headers coming out right here. It's a little warm. I'd give it a 4 out of 10. You know, we're on a we're on a half Panigale status. Tesla, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. I need more. <laughs> we got to stop. Got to stop. Oh my god. I get so into it when I just throttle this thing up. I can't do it. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I I love the comfort uh, I love the comfort that you get out of these muscle cruisers, and then you have such a stonking engine that how do you not just give it the beans all the time? Oh, the engine braking feels good. Engine braking feels strong. I'm I am here for it all day. Give me engine braking. Give me everything. I really am liking the the, the body position right here. I feel. I feel slightly more aggressive than I felt on the Sportster, and I I like that because I feel like this thing is a little more powerful. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have to stop talking. I have to full focus. All right, engine braking down. Engine, yes. 
there is a little bit of a engine shake when I'm downshifting and uh, trying to, you know, rev match. <laughs> oh my goodness! I could not own one of these. I don't. Ha I don't make enough money to pay for all the tickets I would get. Oh my goodness! It's uh. For such a big motorcycle, this thing is so playful. So guys, about the uh, Rocket 3 R, and they make a GT model. So the black edition is like a special model that they make. Uh, they're not all blacked out like this. But uh, since we're about to get on the highway here, they do make a GT model of this. Uh, from what I understand, the whole bike's the same, except for the fact that it has a little bit of a windscreen and a little... Um, one of those little seats on the back so that your passenger doesn't fly off the back of the motorcycle and you wonder how you lost a few hundred pounds. They have the GT model. The GT model is made, you know, GT stands for Grand Touring, of course. That's the model that you really would get if you're going to be doing a lot of touring on this. But I'm interested to see how this thing, specifically the engine, is going to handle the highway. Like, you know, I'm, I'm in a cruiser. I should be able to, like, really cruise. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this bike should be able to cruise, but I'm kind of worried about the wind, honestly. And I'm also interested in how the power is going to feel at speed, you know, at with going like 50 or so. Looks like we got a lot of traffic today too, so we will have to be careful. Also, I would like to make a disclaimer, please, whatever you see in this video, uh, as far as riding wise, regardless of how fun it looks on camera, please do not ride like you see me riding. It is not safe. That's my disclaimer. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I can catch up with traffic like it's nothing. Like we're not even going. Oh my goodness, are you gonna get out of my way? You kinda look like you are, but you won't. That's fine. Bro, power on tap. Whenever you're ready for it, the Rocket 3 is like, bro, let's go. I got you, fam. Uh, the wind though, let's talk about the wind. It is rough. I am getting pummeled with wind. It looks like it's hitting me about right in the chest. So, I mean, we're doing the thing where we're going 95 and I'm complaining about wind. But the wind's pretty bad. Let's, uh, oh, let's tame her down. Let's tame her down to a road speed. Uh, 75? All right, going 75. Wind's still there, but it's not crazy bad. Uh, I can handle this for a commute, no problem. Now, the fun part is when we twist the throttle. Is that truck going to get in this lane or what? Let's see, 5,000. Oh, shoot, it, all, it redlines at 6.5. No wonder I keep rev limiting this. All right, let's go. Let's get in a third lane over. I see where they got the name Rocket! Alrighty, let's use some of those Brimbos and slow her on down. Man, you have so much power on tap. Oh my goodness. And it's really not that bad going around the highway. Holy crap. Alright, let's do cruise control and <laughs> they won't let you set cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to set cruise control going 102 and it wouldn't let me. Is 90 the highest? What's the highest they'll let you do cruise control? It won't let you cruise control over 100. <laughs> Good job, Triumph. Good job keeping people safe. One cruise control setting at a time. All right. Guys, I'm, I'm feeling rock solid here on the highway. And yeah, she's big and she's hard to move around. But she is stable. Woo, I feel so much wind on my legs though. It's probably a dude not used to the cruiser thing, but my goodness. All right, let's start shifting on down and get her into a corner and see what she feels like. We are on a muscle cruiser. We don't have as much ground clearance as we typically do. So we gotta be a little careful. And that's the set scraping right there. Okay, so I'd need to initiate a lot more body lean to uh to get a little more speed into a turn okay all right so that felt pretty on par with uh how the sports duress feel really to get these to get these bikes leaned over a lot guys 
Well, you can't. There, is a, there are physical limitations. But the way to carry more speed into a turn is you got to just, you got to do a, body, a lot of body lean. All right, guys, so uh, let me collect my thoughts after uh, that little highway one <laughs> run. Let's jump over to the camera car and see what the guys in the camera car feel like about the uh, Triumph Rocket 3R. Triumph Rocket 3R. I have no idea why they built this thing, but I'm glad they did because it looks awesome. Definitely excited. We're going to have this thing in the shop for a while, so I'm excited to ride it, get some good seat time on it, just get on the highway and just cruise, maybe end up in Canada. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I think it looks really, really, really stylish. It's one of those bikes that kind of commands presence. It, it commands attention, and it is, it is, it's a really, really cool bike, and I, I dig it a lot. Yeah, so uh, two and a half liters of uh, tire shredding torque on an inline triple slammed in between two wheels on a motorcycle sounds like a whole lot of fun. I can imagine that thing being a, a bit of a, a handful. It is a, a striking machine. I do like all the carbon on it. I like how big the front and rear wheels are a lot of really nice fit and finish parts on it it's a great looking bike i think i think i'd like to give it a whirl and see what it feels like cool machine thank you gentlemen in the camera car i appreciate you getting all this really awesome footage for all these people and uh more importantly i thank you cardo for sponsoring this series and providing us with amazing communication devices if you guys want to check out cardo's the ones we use they are in the description down below all right guys we're back here on the main streets we're all chilling and we're refined we're normal nothing's crazy here after the little highway john uh so guys i haven't talked about the seat and uh you know leaning off the bike and stuff i can tell this is one of those seats that there's not a lot of options on moving it around uh wherever you sit on this seat that is where you sit you you don't have the option to move around a lot. It kind of cups you, but I got to be, I love how it just says set 100. <laughs> um, this is definitely one of those seats where you're not going to be moving around in the seat. You're stuck where you are. But the one thing I will note is when we're giving it beans, like really going, because of how much torque this thing has, this thing, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, it's got 162 foot pounds of torque. And then like 165 horsepower or something like that. You are thrown back. But the seat, the seat does such a good job that I don't have to hold on for dear life. I know, you know, you guys that watch a lot of the first rides, I'm sure you guys have seen multiple motorcycles where I'm on the highway, right? And I, I just give the bike everything it's got and I've got to hold on for dear life. You do not have to do that with this motorcycle because that seat does such a good job of holding you right where you're supposed to. It's got a pretty decent sized lip on the back of it. And you know, that thing's holding me in, man. I'm not going anywhere. That That's honestly phenomenal. And you know, it just shows that the company that makes the motorcycle knows the kind of stupid stuff you're gonna do with it. And it, it, it sets you up. They set you up to have a bike that's gonna hold you in place when you are unleashing hell that is this engine you know i i gotta appreciate that it's uh it's not an aesthetic thing maybe maybe it is but it's just like hey these people are gonna be like really pulling on this throttle let's make sure they can stay exactly where they are i really appreciate that also can we talk about the uh transmission on this thing i mean i feel like i'm just punching the engine every time i shift we don't have a quick shifter it's not up or down obviously if there's not one but the transmission feels so good i i know for a fact it engages i'm getting a feel of when it is like i could be deaf and i can hear it i can feel it i know that this thing is shifting um solid job on triumph's part i love the transmission I love the way it feels so you guys hear me when i talk about ducatis and triumphs they're the class leaders for the dash right check out the dash so we already did the home mode and this is how easy it is to just change settings on this motorcycle but if we go back to the main menu we can change what we see here so if we go over to the side we can change out the information we're getting you guys notice all this is changing when we do that but if we go over to the um tack we can change it to this check that out a little different uh information given the really cool thing is so this is speed these are tacks right here um this little gear when we shift into neutral or first will change watch it i'll try to keep my head close watch it ah it's so cool little shit man 
you you can make a lot of people really happy with just a little shit. Oh wait, is that is the hill start stuff working? It was. Oh my goodness. So and so we can talk about that real quick. That was cool. I don't think I've experienced that yet. This bike has something like hill assist, and basically what it does is when you're on a hill, the bike itself will not let the bike roll backwards. You know, it's a big, heavy motorcycle. This thing weighs like four or 500 pounds or something like that. I want to say it's five, but I'm not 100% sure. Insert the weight of the motorcycle here. It's a heavy bike, so when you're on a hill, you know, if when I get at a, when I'm stopped period, my foot always goes to the rear brake or the front brake, so it's not really a big deal for me. That's what I've always done when I ride. But it is pretty cool that this bike has hill assist, so where when you're on a hill and you're stopped, the bike will not let it roll. It'll just like stay in place, which is uh, a pretty cool feature, especially if somebody gets this, you know, maybe you're not used to the brakes or holding the brakes or whatever. So the hill assist stuff is pretty freaking awesome. But the throttle's where it's at. Why? The, 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 the throttle is what you're here for. <laughs> Oh my God. You get behind traffic for just a minute and you forget how powerful this thing is. And then you get out of traffic and you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> the insides of my body are thrown back. With <laughs> oh my goodness. Triumph, you have made a dangerous motorcycle, my friends. Dangerous, I tell you. <laughs> I can't not. Oh my God! I want to go faster. I just want to go. That's all. I, I have to get it out of, out of rider mode. Can I do that while I'm going? I can't. It's locked. That's right. That's another weird thing. I don't know what Triumph has done with their traction control. But when you turn the traction control off, the bike gets stuck in whatever mode you're in until you come to a stop. I'm not really sure why, but all right, we're just going to have to, we're, I'm going to try super hard to ride it just totally fine. Oh my God, I feel like I got punched in the gut. All of my insides are getting thrown back so much. Holy cow. So yeah, let's talk about let's talk about steering real quick because if you guys notice this bike is real squatty, it's low to the ground, and the rake of the front is very forward. I don't know what the long, I don't know. But yeah, guys, the steering on this guy, let's just use the words not agile. When you're going, I have no problem. You know, it takes some energy, yeah, but we can go back and forth. But when we're not moving, it is such a weird feeling to go from like a super sport or a naked to something like this where you can feel that wheel is far out in front of you when you're not moving and you're moving it like moving it around the garage or something like that this bike is a pain in the ass you know everybody's everything's got to have its drawbacks by the way let's check in on the heat now that we've been going for a minute heat does not feel that bad it's only when we come to a stop and i, I couldn't imagine why but after we give it a lot of beans and come to a stop. That's when the heat seems to be pretty gross. Uh, audio wise, <laughs> that's so funny that the bike rotates sideways. Um, audio wise, the bike sounds pretty tame for such a for such a large displacement motorcycle. This might be controversial. I kind of like it. I like that it's not all in my face, and I don't even worry about what the bike sounds like. I just get to ride the dang thing. Speaking of ride it, we're gonna stop up here and walk around and look at it because I'll be honest, I didn't like this. I didn't like the way this motorcycle looked when we first got, when Triumph dropped it off at the shop, I was like, you know, it's not that bad, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I gotta be honest guys, after riding this thing around for a little bit, kind of loving it. All right guys, we're gonna pull off into our little turnaround spot. My God, there's more people here. Why have there been so many people when I come to my little turnaround spot? Oh man. Well, at least the trees are all pretty. Look at this. All right, we're going to, uh, <laughs> I didn't plan for this to be a parking lot test of the Rocket 3, but we're going to have to do some low speed maneuvering to find us a little spot here, boys. Oh, uh, my spot is taken. I, I don't get to have it. Oh Lord, public security. Everybody stay calm. Can we fit through? yeah all right r3 in the parking lot little parking lot test this is not bad 
Alrighty guys, Rocket 3R Black, one of a thousand. Man, I gotta say, man, I I started, when Triumph dropped this bike off, honestly, if, I gotta be honest with you guys with this, I was not a fan of the way this thing looked. I loved the blacked outness, but I, I just wasn't sold on it. Having ridden it around, you know, coming out into my garage and it sitting in there, this thing is growing on me so much. I love the little carbon accents. I... I love this little grill that's feeding air in. I love this massive engine. Single-sided swing arm. Who the hell does not like the look of a single-sided swing arm? But yeah, guys, this is one of those bikes where, like, the longer I ride it, the more time I spend looking at it, the more I like it. Here's my favorite way to look at this thing. When, when you get the wheel cranked over just a little bit, that that's that vibe right there, fam. <laughs> I I think this thing is so freaking cool. What else do we have? I love these big old caps. Look, you got one, two, three. Love the cohesive look. Shaft driven, of course. I don't know, man. This bike really does it for me. Uh, you guys will have to let me know in the comments if this bike really does it for you or not. Or have you not looked at it long enough? And guys, before we get out of here, I do want to take a photo of this thing. You guys know I always take a photo of the first drive bikes to put on the Instagram. Oh, look at all the tree colorage. Hell Yes. Boom. If you guys want to go follow us on Instagram, it's at c 2 Uh We always post behind-the-scenes photos of what we're doing, and I always make sure to get my first drive photos done. We're also on TikTok. If you guys want to find out what my top five favorite things are about the Rocket 3, I'm about to film a TikTok and put it on there. Still trying to figure out what TikTok is, <laughs> but we're at Chase on Two Wheels on TikTok as well. So if you guys want to follow us on all the social medias, we would love to have you. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's get on this thing and get out of here. Before we end this video, I guys, let's talk about pricing. Surprisingly, this bike comes in at around the $20,000 mark. I think it's this specific model might be 21 something. I think the GT model is slightly more than the R model, which if I'm going to be honest, I look at Triumph as a premium brand. I put them with Ducati and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I just rode the Sportster S from Harley. I think price-wise, this thing is right where it's supposed to be. You get a top-of-the-line premium motorcycle with a capital P, and you get it for 20 grand. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, so for 20 grand, 21 grand, uh, you guys are getting the top-of-the-line premium muscle cruise refill. Honestly, I, I have no arguments with how much this thing costs. It, it costs exactly what I think it should. The seating position so far, you know, we've been riding around for like an hour now. And I have no problems. It's it's one of those seats where you can't move around a lot. So I am interested to do a test of this motorcycle on maybe the highway or something like that. Bro, look at this. First gear, one hand on the throttle in road mode, and I'm chill. The bike is totally comfortable at that speed and that RPM and everything. And it's not hard to ride at all. It's It, 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 it blows my mind that a bike can be this powerful, but if you pair it with the right electronics you can have an, a totally rideable psychopathic motorcycle pairing it with the right electronics is something that triumph definitely did here this the whole package after riding it just makes sense i know this bike looks big in video and photos guys and it is a big bike it's a big short motorcycle if you if you like the vibe of this i think you guys are going to absolutely love this bike so yeah guys if you are looking for that muscle cruiser vibe this thing comes in good i i have enjoyed every second of this my question is how is it going to compare to a diavel something that i would i have a better chance of riding a diavel it is more sporty than this i feel like this bike feels more sporty than the sportster s personally but i think that's uh for another video i think we might have to try to compare this with other motorcycles luckily triumph is letting us borrow this for a month so uh if you guys are looking for specific style videos testing this bike out or comparing it to other bikes in its class uh, let us know because we got it for long enough. We might be able to make a, a decent chunk of content on it uh, And guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for the uh, Triumph Rocket 3R Black Edition I like it way more than I'm comfortable saying honestly <laughs> Guys, I'm Chase on two wheels. Thank you so much for riding around with me Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already uh, That helps the videos do much better. It helps me and the team make more videos for you guys 
It also lets us know you like these videos. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like motorcycle content. We're going to be making a ton of content on the Rocket 3R here. But guys, we'll see you on the next one. Later. Outro crew, outro crew. Uh, for one, if you're first time in the outro crew, that just means you made it to the end of the video. We like to call you guys the outro crew. And uh, do me a favor, guys. For one, I know if you made it to the outro crew, you already liked that video, right? If you're watching a 30 minute video, you can at least like it. And drop me in a comment down below, guys. Why is it that the more muscle cruisers I ride, the more I like them? I don't like what's happening here. I think that there is a conspiracy to get chase on cruiser motorcycles and I don't like the fact that the people that I'm surrounding myself with are slowly just pushing me over to the muscle cruisers because they know that dumb thing in my brain of like, ooh, vibes and power. They know that that's going to win over. You guys let me know what you think about it. I'm not happy about it. I really am. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm super not happy about these super premium feeling muscle cruisers that I've been spending some time on lately but that's just my opinion and I love sharing opinions with all of you out in the video stream of YouTube consciousness okay I'm gonna go be stupid I'll see you guys on the next one later oh make sure to put OC in your comment okay bye I love you